Defensive system, you have to be able to make all the throws, have a big arm, and you have to be two steps ahead of the defense. And Musa has had a fantastic senior campaign. You see Marcus Riley, the jet sweep to number four, the former Wildcat, now Rattler. Got out to a great gain there from the first 23 yard line of the Rattlers, now first and 20 here. And Musa with time looking and short hops that one to his intended target, Jamari A. Sharid. It's second down. And one thing. Play action, Musa looking. There's Kamari Young, and Young sees that one deflected. The start last week in the win over Lincoln. Let's see if Musa can shake off some rest here on third and long. Has plenty of time and delivers the target right to Kamari Young, but he's going to be well short of the first down. Boom Cookman's offense and Florida A&M's offense, completely different. Yes, they want to run the ball. Every offense wants to do that. But when it comes to the passing game, they're not a pre-snap read type game. It's more of a drop back, find somebody. It's not the which can change the momentum of a game in a hurry. James Ash with the tackle for a loss. This one fumbled as the pitch bounced its way over to Jimmy Robinson, the third, and not making themselves up deeper into their own territory from the five. It's third and 14. Got to get to the 20. And escaping here is Walter Simmons, the third, and he picks up the first down. That's something you can't do if you're Florida a &M. They were able to pick up the first down. Good play for Bethune Cookman. The handoff and good running up ahead by Jimmy Robinson, the third. Gain of about five in Cookman program. A guy who is described as a heart and soul of this team. Quick play from scrimmage and the pass complete to Dakari Allen Johnson pushed out. Way the interior running game, so you have to take a chance and run it outside. And this one, the fumble, balls on the ground. Florida AM recovers it. Isaiah Major picks up the football. And Offense. It's not a smooth running machine. They make mistakes right here. Little indecision between Dakari Johnson and Simmons in the backfield, that's a normal play. You sit there, it's third and short. Just give the ball to him unless you see something different. But good job. The ball placed on the 22-yard line of Bethune-Cookman. Little fake reverse and taking it. That's Jeremy Musa. And Musa with a great gain there on first down. So a fresh set for the Rattlers. Here's Jaquez Yen, and Jaquez Yen, who's barreling over inside the five, down at about the three yard. You see the big lead blocker there for Jaquez Yen, who won't be denied, and kind of crawls his way into the end zone. Touchdown, FAMU. Well, they brought it, and he finishes it off. And I'm gonna call this a Florida classic run. Normally you may stop right there and go down, but it's the classic. He wants to Florida AM. She's now a pharmacist in the Palmetto area near Bradenton. And so you think about how these two are always intertwined, right? Thune Cookman on their second offensive series. They hand it off and shaking a couple of tacklers and then finally brought down the ball carrier for the Wildcats. Going to be stopped a couple of yards short. Allen Johnson to the bottom of your screen was in motion. And Jimmy Robinson close. was determined very close. Isaiah Major coming up with the tackle just depends on the spot here by the looks of it. He's been an excellent player in this defense. Gives him a fresh set of downs. And on the run, Jimmy Robinson the third. You know, what do we hear from Coach Woody before the game? Look, this guy is just going to pick up the hard run, hard yards. Tackles, and, you know, that's where real running backs tell you they make their bread and butter, having the ability to absorb blows and still pick up yards. You see right there, I mean, this Florida A&M defensive line is good. I mean, all season long, we've seen running backs get swallowed up in there, but yet we're seeing a little fun. The Wildcats. 45-yard line here on third down. And once more, but getting back on time. As a player looked like they jumped off sides for the Rattlers. They got back on time, and the pass incomplete. Uh, they called, I think they called it. I think. Opening quarter from the Florida Classic. 
Jimmy Robinson the third, just so tough. And a good gain there. Pick up of seven yards on the play. And tackled by Deco Wilson of Jimmy Robinson the third until they can slow him down. Six straight run plays this series and make it seven this time. It's the quarterback calling his own number. And, and you have to give credit to the offensive line because coming into this game, Florida A&M only gave up Mark right there and Bethune Cookman showing they've got some signs that maybe they are going to be able to run the football. Moving with tempo in this series and really to open the game, the game, the idea is getting back up to the line and just keep it up for run support, trying to make the adjustment. There's Simmons trying to scoot his way through, happy feet through, and positive yardage on the play, tackled by Isaiah Major. The way they've had success running the football would not be surprised if they dial up another run. Indeed they do, but there is big number 96 to tackle them and bring them up deep into their own territory to start this drive. And Musa hands it off to one of his big backs, Terrell Jennings, and Jennings has a number of gold jerseys to try to bring him down as he's tackled, but gives them some breathing room. Bottom of the screen. Musa rolling to his right, the side of Riley gets rid of it, throws it out of bounds as he's hit by Thomas, and that's gonna bring up fourth down. Wow, huge victory. They're out to a 7-0 lead. Will Hoyt trying again this time. A great kick, booming kick, sending Dakari Allen Johnson back to his own 35. And now he's tackled and brought down. There was Cheney in on the stop. 58 year 15th from Mercedes-Benz Stadium. For the Pickett Celebration Bowl. Ooh, what a hit delivered by Johnny Cheney Jr. The linebacker. Good, day, good solid hit by Johnny Cheney Jr. And second and 13, they're giving chase to Simmons, and the pass incomplete going for Tink Boyd. We're going back to their last drive. They had 11 straight runs before that pass here on third and 13, an obvious passing situation. He completes it That's underneath. The right there. <laughs> That's Markai Shaw. The true freshman out of the backfield and able to Florida, the world's most famous speech. That's what they, they marked it as, right? <laughs> and once more, the effectiveness on the ground for the Wildcats we've seen. Inside a minute to go in this opening quarter and Isaiah Major once more, the noisy linebacker for the Rat Rattlers bringing down the ball carrier. So doing some damage. Dazzle, dazzle. Oh, they get it back to the quarterback, and Simmons drops it. Major giving chase well, to him, but able back. to get the throw away and nearly completed it to Shaw. In the opening quarter, man in motion. They hand it off to Jimmy Robinson, the third, and quickly there in the backfield. That's Dakar Edwards. Edwards with the tackle for a loss. And that will bring us to the close. Excuse myself. <laughs> I said, well, if Tiffany Green recuses herself from the call, we can talk about it. But it'll be it'll be marvelous there. It'll be a good game. I love that. And a, a little little fact, and we'll go on. A lot of people don't know this. Howard has will await who they will play out of the SWAC West. A lot can happen between now and next weekend as this one is complete. And into the hands of Jamari A. Sharid and Gang tackle and thrown down at the end. Good no call by the officials, in my opinion. On second and three, here's Kelvin Dean. And Dean, who tripped himself up, but picks up the first down. Could have had more yardage landing at Florida a &M. Play action and great one for Kobe Gross. And Gross, who hurls a defender. And force in this game. And here's Dean once more, and Dean showing off some speed and staying on his feet, and finally brought down. High school ball is Cousin Ampley, the former running back from Florida State. 
Got good football in his blood. Musa in the middle, across the middle, and it's complete to Jamari Gassett. Gassett, the speedy receiver who... Been as good as advertising. He's a quarterback who judged by wins and losses, and he's done a great job doing it. Well, number nine on Kelvin Dean's jersey, representing the number of wins Florida a &M has had this season. Their own a couple of times. Low line not moving, and everyone was caught off guard for the Wildcats for a second. And Kamari Young, the tight end, who's still on his feet somehow, wrapped up all around his ankles. First and goal. Moving to his left, trying to get around the corner, but tripped up as Jennings as Dears Thomas there to stop him. Here up 7-0 on their in-state rival, Terrell Jennings with the cutback into the end zone and another score for the Rattlers. He's trying to pack on more. Yeah, missed tackle right there by Conroy Cunningham in the backfield. If you're a defensive lineman, you have to. <laughs> that, 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 that's the only thing that was missing from that performance they did in between. On first and ten, here's Simmons going deep. He's got a man down the seam, but into the hands of the Rattlers. Interception by Eric Smith, his second. Aggressive defense. Quarterback just lays it out there. Two Rattlers there to make the play, but Eric Smith comes down with it. Rattlers are striking. The action from Musa. Dumps it underneath. There's Kamara Young. And Young, it must be something on the field here today, Jay, because we've seen a number of players lose a lot more steadily. Is this one in the hands of Marcus Riley? And Marcus Riley making a few of his teammates miss. He gets it, slides up, if you will. And Marcus. Musa steps up, delivers it into the hands of Nicholas Dixon. And Dixon is brought down by Clement at the 30 yard line. <laughs> Defense. Well, Bethune Cookman come up with the stop here. Some more trickeration is into the hands of Gassett trying to put on some moves. A little cutback action and brought down as the helmet pops off for one of the defenders. That was Steven Sparrow who has his helmet cut off, cut uh, come off. But we're talking. Musa hit as he throws and it's dropped by Nicholas Dixon, who was open, couldn't hang on to it. 50% on third downs in this one. They flank it out to Leland Wilhoy, and Wilhoy with some speed, but there's a penalty marker that flies out as well. A conventional approach by Raymond Woody as he declines the penalty. It's up, has enough leg, and it's through. So Cameron Gillis matches his season long of from realizing they have to take care of business and they're playing like they're the better football team right now feeling the pressure but escaping is walter simmons the third the shoestring tackle by johnny cheney jr and some long we've got to have great attention to detail you got to clean up those types of miscues as jimmy robinson the third sees the gang of green jerseys bring him down. Deco Wilson was the first there. You know, and I think for Bethune Cookman, a tough team out there in Florida AM that's playing with a lot of confidence. Look out. The missed tackle, and Davino Ellington is making the Rattler defense pay on second and 21. Five yard line after their longest play of the day. And Jimmy Robinson, the third, with not much room to run. You would be wise to, to take your time right now. Bethune Cookman will receive it to start the second half. The pass out and the open field tackle made by Eric Smith to try to make up for that missed tackle on the other sideline brings down the blue characteristics. Already five penalties for Bethune Cookman here in this first half. They're usually a very disciplined team as that one is overthrown. 
Tink Boyd was the nearest. Uh, if he gets a look he likes, and right now, man-to-man -man coverage all the way across the board, he may try something tricky. Instead, the delayed handoff to Will Hoyt. That'll be, that'll take us and to the And that will do. Board a &M feels like it's their chance, it's their opportunity, and Leland Will Hoyt with the excellent run, and Will Hoyt crossed the 35-yard line, kept speeding and scooting through 24 yards later. Got to take a shot here, Jay. If you can, if you get this one-on-one -on -one matchup, maybe a 50-50 ball, if you see a, something that you like. I mean, I really thought that Florida a &M was content to go in up by 17, but after Bethune called the... to the outside and underthrows this man. It's third and 10 and a little tussle after the play and flat. Handoff and big tackle made by Laquan Johnson and once more. There's a, but what type of adjustments can they make or what can they do better here in this second half? We'll find out first play in the pass out to Dakari Allen Johnson, a wide receiver screen. And a solid pickup, Isaiah Major on the summer first down here. That one batted down by Isaiah Major, who was all in the face of Walter Simmons, the third and An ineffective pass. Here's Jimmy Robinson, the third, and Jimmy Robinson, the third, who was thrust down to the turf by Allen Smith Jr., but just gonna be. Simmons held up at the extra effort, reaching the ball out, and I think they're gonna give him the first down as he was held up. Ellington, Trink Boyd rather, trailing out of bounds. Oh, yeah, I thought there would have been. Second and 10, Walter Simmons, the third, who has some room and wisely slides Ooh. down just a couple of yards short. 35 yard Ooh. line, but they mark him at the 37 because of where he started. And a flag flies out here on the play. Florida in it to make the Rattlers pay for some of these defensive mistakes. Simmons once more looking to scramble. He's brought down and a great play by Johnny Cheney Jr., the linebacker. Why not set him up with a little slip screen? That ball may have been deflected at the line of scrimmage and wobbled its way short of the receiver. And it's third and four here on third and long. Finn Cookman has four wide receivers and Simmons aligns with Major and goes down. And it's Florida and M who has won their last eight games. And a dangerous pass out to Sharid because right there the DB was reading the. Get your offense going and eliminate hope early in the second half. Some patient running by Dean, and Dean is stopped before he can move through the hole too much more by Eddie Walls, the third. Dean traffic, making sure everybody knows what they need as the play clock was winding down, and Musa zips it through the hands of Jamari Gassett. Fourth of the year, had a language barrier, had to sit out in high school, came over to the Dominican, Dominican Republic, a baseball player, turned football player. Love it. You know what? I'm, I'm going to get you. That could be a category we just start monitoring every year, the impact transfer of the year. I like your awards and honors, and I don't think anybody could be mad with the human jukebox from Southern University either. Jimmy Robinson, the third, can't be mad with this run right here. My boy was turning it up. Brought down by Kendall Bowler. But a nice little start here in that band for Bethune Cookman. This football team gets hyped up off of that theme music. It's 
the bonnet. Let's go, Wildcats champ. Complete, but maybe on Moore was driven down quickly. By the defender falls down, the pass complete to Tink Boyd. Tucks it and runs. Everyone's giving chase, and Simmons stretches out for the end zone. They're going to say he was sir to the end zone, trying to erase the goose egg off the scoreboard. They go for it, and right there, not go for it, but trying to run with. Now, backed up. They push back four yards after that play. They're going to try to keep it on the ground. That's Jimmy Robinson. A waste of time. The third, <laughs> and he gets back to the five. Sam Ellington, motion, one-on-one -on -one coverage, bowler, and a lot of contact there with Jalen Brown. Still, you need two yards. It may take them two plays to do it. They'll try to go to Jalen Brown again. This time, bowler breaks off and backs it away. Give the ball to drops and tell them, we just need a yard, yard and a half, and then we can pick it up on third down. This is the moment like he up. loves it and blowing it up right there. Isaiah Major was there. He has just been all over the field here in this one. Dark Cloud defense trying to preserve their shutout. Wildcats looking for their first score. Simmons stays on his feet, keeps it up to the back of the end zone and contact there Whoa. with a flag. Bowler once again. Balls intended to go. Tough break for. They flip it over to Dakari Allen Johnson. Another penalty marker flies out. Heard a ball game so far in this series. Dropping back to pass. Has a man open. And Robinson couldn't haul it in. It was there. Holmes here on second and goal. Just over two minutes to go in the third quarter. And all over. The receiver was Morgan. No penalty marker flies out. Now, give him a little RPO run pass option. There's no threat to the outside divider. And there's Allen Smith Jr. There's an opening there, and he hits it to the end zone. He took the punishment from Deco Wilson, spun him into the clock print on it, and the number on the other side. Up ahead, short gain on the play. Now the last time as Musa completes the pass and Nicholas Dixon steps out of bounds right near. And that's a timing offense with rhythm. Got him. The charge was coming. Whoa. And then Eddie Walls, the third coming in. Uh, Lay down the ball carrier, but Dearis Thomas was first loss of. Here on first down, the run by Jimmy Robinson, the third. And a pickup of five there. And Florida in him right now. Simmons delivers, standing tall, running up the ladder was Allen Johnson of Dakari Allen Johnson with that great grab. And bouncing off the tackle, that's Basil. Jovonsley Basil with his first carry of the game. Nicknamed JoJo. Basil back there again, play action pass, giving chase Trey Jones. And the pass incomplete. Johnson once more, the intended to Important third and eight here for Bethune Cookman as able to get it away. And there was a lot of contact before the ball arrived between Eric Smith. So deep into their own territory once more, the Rattlers start at the two, trying to find any kind of running room. Terrell Jennings brought down quickly by Laquan Johnson Jr. No gain on the ball. 
Dangerous pass in the end zone. Jamari Cherie keeps his balance, keeps on going across the 20, and there's a way to get some breathing room, a nice spark bombs. The handoff, there's a lot of space there for Terrell Jennings, and Jennings powers ahead for a gain of 14. Clement there once more on the programs have had fantastic band directors, legendary band directors. We'll talk about them in just a second here on first and 10. Play action, there's Kobe Gross, the halfback, the H-back rather. Shifting within those formations. Here Musa dropping back and bounces it incomplete. It's head coach or former quarterback on second and 10. And the handoff to Jarrell Jennings. And Jennings with some determined and inspired running brought down. First to get to him was Deontay Washington. Pick up a four. That way he'll look to go someplace else with the football. Looking for Young, but the second level throw there for Jamari A. Sharif, pass complete. 20, 150 yards through the air. Looking back to pass, has a man, Marcus Riley trying to run underneath it, and the fastest man on the team couldn't get to it. From Bethune Cookman, 35 yard line on. Second and 10 and sneaking through. There's Terrell Jennings along the left side. He's got one man to beat, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Rattlers. The fans are into it, and Terrell Jennings running like a workhorse into the end zone. Rattlers in control. Expect. It's crazy you say that. Every week we talk about Georgia, and it's like, yeah, but are they the defending chips? You know, didn't they have a poll like they were like the least least percentage chance to win a national championship? And I was like. Strong first down run from Jimmy Robinson this time. He's taken down behind the line of scrimmage. Allen Smith Jr. with the stop. Maybe now a little chance to. By the Eagles, the reigning champs in HBCU football. They won't be able to defend it. That's a lot. I think this is a lateral. Let's see where they spot it. And just not in sync there on that series. And the end now at quarterback for Jeremy Musa. Started last game and the handoff here. And a short run, or good run rather, by Lee Level. And I just love hearing the stories of and just how everyone is drawn to their respective university and who they're representing, why it's so important. And so I just want to know, are they the only band that does that? I don't know. That's something that you can research, Jay. Says, I know it's burning you inside. As Leland Wilhoy hurdles a defender, but a flag comes out in the process. To nine in just over four minutes, before they will have said, mission accomplished. That one bounces. And the pass incomplete. He switches the quarterback. It's Dominic Ponder now. And as the signal caller with under four minutes to go. And the pass incomplete to Jalen Brown. Yeah. Ponder, true freshman from Naples, and get an opportunity to play in this Florida Classic. And Get some throws underneath his belt. Jenkins, who had a lot of success in the process. Free play here, and it's into the hands, and they're going to say it's complete. Davino Ellington to Ellington. Ponder again, pass complete into the hands of his tight end, Moore. If he can throw you, 
a variety of passes. The true freshman out of Naples dropping back here on second down, looking ahead and overthrows. You saw Walter Simmons the third to pick up this first down. Look up. And it's intercepted into the hands of Eric Smith, his second of the ball game. Southwestern Athletic Conference. Fumble. And it's fumbled, but recovered by Florida AM, the quarterback Maritovic. And, and I guess you'll add Willie Simmons to that list soon, particularly the path that he's on. Depending on his tenure there. I mean, he's going to become a very hot commodity. I mean, in fact, and he deserves it. But the fact that the job he's done, you know, I'll never forget. Before the game, she's Chase all Chase Simmons, yeah, yeah. Well, she graduated from Florida a &M. Yeah, she's more so. rattler than you are, Tim. So that's, that's pretty hard to do. Even <laughs> <laughs> Will Boy with a great carry. Very passionate. Once more, Will Hoyt, the carrier, ball carrier, and Devin Harrell with the stop, and that's likely going to be the final play of the ball game as Willie Simmons and the Rattlers finish perfect in sweat play, and they take down their in-state rival, Bethune-Cookman, in the Florida Classic with a 24-7.